Hi, so let's start by defining accessibility. Accessibility is ensuring that people with disabilities are able to perceive, understand, navigate within, and contribute using technology. It's often shortened to A11Y because there's 11 characters between the A and the Y in the word accessibility. Today we're going to make an accessible form. So there's three things that we want to remember. One, that every field has a visible and associated label. Two, errors are clearly conveyed visually and to assistive technology. And three, complex elements behave the way users expect. Let's jump into the code. I have created a simple component called simple form component that extends lightning element from LWC. On the right, I have a local development server set up so as I save my code, I can see a real-time example of how it works. In my HTML, all I have are two lightning cards, one with the title plain HTML and the other with the title LWC base components. The first component is an input, and it's actually fairly complicated. There's the preview. I have a name input that's in an error state. So in the HTML, I have a label, and it has the for attribute set to the ID of the input. This is important so that assistive technologies understand that that's what the label is for this input. Similarly, for the error message, I have aria described by set to the ID of the error message. And so now, assistive technology understands that this is the label and this is the error that's associated with this specific input. Now, that's a lot to manage yourself, so you can add literally one line of code, bam, well, it's, it's two in mine, but that's because of formatting, and have a, an awesome lightning input. All you have to do is pass a label attribute and the required attribute, and LWC takes care of the rest for you. So that's one less component that you have to maintain in your own code base. Now if I, and it already works with the error message, so if I tab away without entering any text, it has an error, and if I add my name, the error goes away. So let's look at a more complicated example, like a combo box, or sometimes in Salesforce they're called pick lists. So I just copied in quite a bit of code, I think it's like a hundred lines, and we're just building on what we established with the text input. So in the preview, you can see there's still an input, there's still a label, so that's all the same as the text input, but now we have this list of options. For the list, we want to make sure that users understand what list they're looking through and which option in the list they're currently on. And we do this with ARIA attributes in the HTML on the input itself. On top of that, we have to write custom JavaScript so that users can press their up and down arrow keys to move between the options. This does not come for free in HTML. Since we're adding all this extra stuff on top of this component, ARIA attributes that need to have values change, custom keyboard navigation, it's a good idea to also write unit tests to make sure the component doesn't regress later. Instead, if I use lightning combo box, it's much easier. Although it's not one line of code, it's pretty, it's pretty good. I add in my lightning combo box, I pass a label, and I add some CSS, and then I have the options attribute set to a variable combo options. In my JavaScript file, I define a variable called combo options that is an array with objects in it. Each object has a label and a value. I save my HTML file and my JavaScript, and now I have an awesome component. I can open it with the down arrow and move between the options with the up and down arrow keys. I can also press enter to select an option. The combo box also works with my mouse. Now I don't have to maintain the code that it takes to build a combo box. It's on Salesforce's side. The easiest way to make something accessible within Salesforce is to use our existing Lightning Web components. If those aren't available, you can build a component based on our Lightning Design system and add the necessary JavaScript to make it fully work. 
Here are a few resources that will help you along the way. The full LWC component library can be found at sfdc.co slash lwc dash docs. We also have an accessibility specific trail and trailhead at sfdc.co slash a11y dash trail. And finally, if you're looking for some integrated accessibility testing, check out the AXE testing toolkit at dq.com slash AXE.